Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss mattress. Now this is an all natural latex construction. It has a few different layers that you can actually adjust for different firmnesses. Now they've sent me the medium layers and it arrives in the softest configuration, so that's what I'm gonna do the review on. However, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the firmer uh, arrangements, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. I'm gonna put this mattress through a few tests today and give some general recommendations at the end of the review. But if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences. I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm gonna start out the review talking about the construction of the mattress. So I'll begin with the cover, which is an organic cotton. It's really soft, giving it kind of a cozy feeling. Also, the cover is quilted with some wool, which is gonna provide some immediate softness for some pressure relief. Now let's get a look underneath the cover at the layers of the mattress. The Plush Beds Botanical Bliss mattress is an all latex construction consisting of three inches. And this version is the 10 inch version, but there is a 13 inch tall version available. I should mention that all three layers you see here are a Dunlop latex, which is a bouncy material with a quick response to pressure that you can see here. Now that quick response to pressure means while you will sink in for a bit of pressure relief, you're not gonna really get that stuck or contoured feeling you might be expecting out of like a memory foam mattress. Now one of the advantages of latex is that it's known for dissipating body heat, so it won't really trap heat the way that you might expect out of a memory foam, something like that, help you sleep a little bit cooler. To help with that, all these layers are actually aerated with holes, which is gonna help for airflow through the mattress, again, for temperature regulation and cooling. As I mentioned, these are all Dunlop latex layers. However, uh, they are different firmnesses. So here we are going from a softer firmness up top, uh, which is going to allow you to sink in to a medium firmness for a bit of transition. And finally, at the base, a, the firmest layer of Dunlop latex uh, for support and act as the base of the mattress. Um, this is the medium option of the Botanical Bliss mattress arranged in the softest available arrangement. If you would like a firmer feel out of your Botanical Bliss mattress, they do provide a graphic on how to rearrange these layers for a firmer feel. Uh, also, Plush Beds does offer an extra firm layer if you would like a really firm feel out of your mattress. One thing I should note is that for queen size mattresses, and above, they do provide uh, split options. So if you like one side um, as a softer feel, one side as a firmer feel, if you sleep with a partner who likes a different firmness level on your mattress, that is available from Plush Beds for a queen size mattress and above. Now that we've seen what makes up the Botanical Bliss, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of it. So I'm gonna start by pressing into the cover. The first thing I feel is that wool quilted into the cover, providing some initial softness. As I push through that, start to interact with the Dunlop latex, which is that bouncy material we took out before. So I lie down on my back here. Again, this mattress is arranged in the softest arrangement of these layers, so I do feel myself sinking into the mattress quite a bit. It's filling in the space beneath my lower back. But even as I'm sinking in, because of the quick response to pressure from latex, I don't feel stuck in the mattress. I can kind of adjust and move around, get over here to the side without feeling stuck at all. Now, as I am all the way over here on the edge, Checking out the edge support, you can see that I am sinking through these softer layers, which is pretty common amongst foam mattresses. So nothing too out of the ordinary. So I roll onto my side. You know, uh, side sleepers do tend to prefer softer mattresses because that higher weight concentration over lower surface area, you're gonna push further into the mattress. Again, this is arranged in the soft arrangement for the Botanical Bliss, which is really nice for side sleepers. You know, I don't feel any pressure points forming at the shoulders or the hips, which are often two uh, common problem areas for side sleepers. We are gonna take a closer look at pressure later on in the review. I just wanna point that out now. So I'm gonna roll on my stomach. Now, stomach sleepers are kind of the opposite of side sleepers, they tend to prefer a firmer mattress, does a good job to keep their hips up from sinking into the mattress, keep their spine in a good alignment. As this is in the soft arrangement, I do feel my hips sinking in. Could cause you to wake up with some aches in your lower back. Um, if you are a stomach sleeper and you are interested in the Botanical Bliss, I would recommend you arrange it in one of the firmer uh, you know, arrangements. They'll provide you with the graphic on how to do that. 
on at plushbeds.com. Um, but again, uh, you know, in my opinion, this is kind of a five out of 10 on the firmness scale, but everyone can feel firmness a little differently because of different size and weight distribution. So for reference, about 5'10", 190 pounds. If you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress or a deeper description on the feel of it, you can check out the written review at sleepoutplus.com. Instead of just describing the feel of the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss to you, I wanted to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So to do that, I place this pressure map on top and I'm gonna lie down on it in a few different positions. You'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. I just wanted to give you a quick idea of the bounce on the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss. I have this 10 pound seal ball, I'm dropping it here. As you can see, it is a pretty bouncy mattress. As I mentioned before, Latex does have a quick response to pressure, so it's gonna have a lot of bounce to it. Now while we're here, we're also gonna run a quick motion transfer test. Basically, I'm gonna drop this ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches, which is gonna simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. And on the other side of the mattress, I have a seismometer, which is gonna measure the disturbance that's transferred across the mattress with each of those drops. Now that we have the results on screen, I can just say that these are really high levels of disturbance for each of these drops with a quick response to pressure, a very responsive material like latex, a bouncy mattress, you're gonna have a lot of motion uh, transfer and disturbance transfer across the mattress. So if someone is rolling around in the middle of the night on the other side of the bed, you will probably feel it uh, on your side. A lot of people buying a mattress are gonna wanna know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So to test this, I've set up the sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities, simulate different body parts, and check to see how far into the mattress they sink. So on the plush beds, we have a six pound medicine ball, it's filled with sand, assuming it's a lighter body part. 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball used during this test. 50 pound medicine ball, it's also filled with sand, and simulates kind of a heavier portion of your body. And finally, over here on the left, we have the 100 pound medicine ball. If you're a bit heavier, simulates kind of the center of your body. Now in terms of sinkage, we have two inches of sinkage for the six pound medicine ball, two and a half inches of sinkage for the steel ball, four and a half inches of sinkage, for the 50 pound medicine ball and six and a half inches of sinkage for the 100 pound medicine ball. Now across the board, this is more compression into the mattress than we are used to seeing during this test. Uh, you know, I attribute that to the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss being in the softer uh, configuration. If it was in the medium or firm configuration, I would expect to see a little bit less sinkage. However, you know, even with that sinkage, uh, with that quick response to pressure, from the latex material, you are able to move around on the mattress pretty easily without having to worry about feeling stuck when you're changing positions. So uh, it is just something to kind of take note of that in this soft arrangement that it's sent in, you will feel like you're sinking a bit further into the mattress, even though you won't feel stuck. Just to give you some basic information about the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss, there is a 100 night trial period, a 25 year warranty, and shipping is free and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now, some of the reasons I would recommend this mattress is because of its bounce. Latex has a really quick response to pressure, and since this is an all latex mattress, this is a really bouncy mattress, so you don't have to worry about feeling stuck when you're changing positions during the middle of the night. I also recommend this mattress as it does sleep cool. If you are worried about overheating during the middle of the night, latex is probably a good material for you as it does do a good job of dissipating body heat. And finally, I would recommend this mattress for the natural materials used. Between the organic cotton, the wool, the Dunlop latex, in this construction, it's an all natural construction mattress. So if that's important to you, you should definitely take a look at the Plush Beds Botanical Bliss. Now, some reasons I might say uh, that this mattress isn't for you is because of its high motion transfer. Uh, you know, I did see a lot of disturbance transferred across the surface of the mattress during that portion of the test. The split construction, which they uh, you know offer for queen size mattresses and above might help with that a little bit but just kind of by nature of the material latex uh, there is quite a bit of disturbance transferred uh, when someone kind of gets into and out of bed or rolls around during the middle of the night 
One of the other, other reasons I might say that this mattress isn't for you is if you're looking for that kind of contouring feeling of really sinking into bed. Again, latex doesn't really provide that. So there's some general recommendations, but if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences. I'll be sure to get back to you. Now, if your mattress buying search has just begun, please Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's gonna have a ton of information in there that's gonna help you better understand how to find the mattress that's perfect for you. And please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day. Thank you.